Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing another WTF first impressions. I actually have two items to share with you guys. They're both ridiculously expensive. I don't know really where the series is going as far as me doing really luxury reviews every single week, but I just got back from Nordstrom. And I spent $305 on two makeup items. All right, so I picked up two items from Clé de Peau. And Clé de Peau is a line that is all about skincare. It's an enzyme-based skincare, I believe. The gal really like walked me through everything A to Z with the line. Literally, I could have bought everything. She even touched my skin and was like, you would do really well with the pore refiner because you have large pores. What are you doing? And I'm like, I don't know. I'm washing my face. Like, don't you ever, when you walk up to a counter, you feel like they grill you on like everything that you use, but then they like open you up to this whole new place where you must have that hundred dollar powder. So uh, that is what is happening today. I really do love Clay de Peau concealer. I have used that in the past and I've raved about it. It's a wonderful concealer that's $70. I've tried their lipsticks and they're kind of, you know, so-so. I don't think it's worth the huge price tag, but I wanted to try out a really finely milled, expensive skincare infused powder. So I have a pressed powder and a loose powder. The pressed one that I have right here is $175. Have I lost my mind? I think I've kind of lost my mind, but you guys are really into these videos. So keep watching them, thumbs them up, leave me comments. I will keep doing this. I decided to go for the limited edition variety, meaning instead of $105, this was $175. I'm not really sure why I did that actually. It's metal instead of plastic. The case is very sturdy. It is gorgeous. There is only one shade that this powder comes in because it is completely translucent. It is milled eight to 10 times and it is super, super soft. So this would be a setting powder that you would put on after your foundation or to touch up your makeup throughout the day and it is going to minimize the look of pores, make everything look really flawless and smooth, help keep shine at bay. And this one adds a little bit of luminosity, I believe. And you get 0.17 ounces in here, five grams. And this is refillable. So you don't have to repurchase the whole shebang every single time. But the refill is $85. So it's not like, oh, I'm gonna refill this, I'm gonna save my money. Um, it's still gonna be really crazy expensive. So this better really make me do cartwheels because I kind of hate my skin right now, to be honest. I'm loving trying out this new stuff, but at the moment my skin is so, so, so dry. I just feel like I've cranked up the heat here in my apartment and the air is really dry and my face is just dry and I don't know why I'm complaining so much about that, but we're going to hopefully be able to set my foundation, which clearly I already have on, and see if it lasts really beautifully, if it is really poor refining, if it doesn't accentuate lines, if it is something really magical and different and special, because, you know, I want to see if there's something crazy amazing about this. I don't really even know what happened to me at the counter. It was like I was under a clay to post spell. I'm like, what other powders do you have? Because I was on this whole, like, let's find the perfect powder kick. Um, and I'm all about baking my under eye area. So I asked if they had a loose setting powder, and of course they did. This one is the translucent loose powder, and it comes in a box like this. And then you open it up, and it's a beautiful, gorgeous case. I have a feeling this is gonna be a dang mess though. Um, the lid pops off. Well, that's one way to do it. This is $105 and the refill is $75. So you can refill it. Um, you get a sifter in here. Well, I just wasted $5. Okay, the like sifter thing like falls right in there, I guess. I'm gonna have to figure that out off camera because right now powder is flying everywhere and I'm just seeing like my dollars fly around the room in the form of powder. So you do get a really lovely puff in here. I have not concealed my face yet. I do have foundation on and clearly eye makeup, but what I thought I would do is put on some concealer and then I would use RCMA No Color Powder underneath one eye and the Clay de Peau Loose Powder under the other and kind of have a little bake off. And we will see which one does the trick better if there is any difference because this one's like 12 bucks for all of this and the other guy is 105. So let's just get to applying the makeup and just see where that leads us. All right, I'm gonna take my Maybelline drugstore 
uh, favoritist of life concealer, the Instant Age Rewind. And I'm gonna go down here, up here. Does anyone else get super stressed out during the holidays? Like not stressed out, like I have to buy presents, I have to this, but it is just a tough time of year for me. I don't know. I just, I feel really compelled to share with you guys that if you're in that boat as well, and the holidays maybe remind you of not the greatest times in your life, you're not alone and I love you. And I love you for coming and hanging out with me and playing with makeup and kind of not ignoring bigger issues, but just taking a break from all of the chaos and all of the heavier emotions in life. For me, makeup is this wonderful artistic escape. It's not so much about looking a certain way, it's more about playing with product and the experience and the joy that I get coming up with new looks and feeling creative. So let's get to the Bake Off. Oh, that was maybe a little too much. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm going to grab a bunch of this RCMA powder and I'm going to put this underneath my right eye as I normally would, okay? I'm gonna flip the sponge around and I'm going to grab the clay to Poe powder which almost has like a pinky hue to it. We're gonna do the other eye. It's definitely more finely milled and something I noticed straight away, this has got like a, whoo, it's got a lot of fragrance going on in it. Okay, don't mind me, I am just going to chill here and bake. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is take some of the pressed powder, grab that on the tip of a more tapered dome brush. You can use any type of a dome brush and I'm just going to get rid of the excess powder. eyes looking pretty good. I am super pale right now. I need like some self tanner. I just feel like I when I get this pale I almost feel like I look sick. Oh my god. Oddly enough I think that the less expensive guy is doing a better job of kind of brightening everything but we'll have to zoom in and we'll see throughout the day how it goes um, but I am going to finish. Oh, I just stuck my finger in this whole thing and basically just ruined its beauty. Okay, so I'm going to pick up powder on the same brush and set everything. This is translucent, but it is making me feel a little bit very pale. I would love to see how this works on darker skin tone. Translucent is supposed to be completely clear, like nothing. And maybe it will kind of melt into the skin a little bit and become more of nothing and just a refining setting powder, but right now I'm feeling, do you see that? It's like white. Okay. The pressed powder doesn't seem to have a scent at all, and it did go on nice. It feels nice. This is not immediately wowing me though, so I think it's something where I will have to check in throughout the day and be like, oh yeah, it kept my skin looking amazing. My foundation didn't move. I didn't have to touch up, and when I did touch up, it didn't cake. So I'm going to really have to take you guys through my day, and we'll just have to see how this goes. But so far, immediately, the RCMA, I feel like, is doing a better job. Um, all right, so I'm going to finish up my face. I will be right back. All right, so the rest of my makeup is on and I have to say my face feels like a satin pillowcase. It's so smooth, but we are gonna see how this wears throughout the day. It was really kind of powdery and a little bit too like almost white at first, but it has seemed to calm down a little bit. I did set my face with a little bit of Urban Decay All Nighter. That is a trick. If you put on translucent powder and it's just a little bit too powdery, this will kind of take that powderiness down a little bit. Not necessarily just this one, but any setting spray. And I'm liking how it's looking. Um, as far as underneath the eye, I really think I prefer the RCMA, which is making me think is it really worth spending so much money on powder at all? I don't know. So I'm gonna go live my day. I will take you with me. We will zoom in super uncomfortably close up and see all of my pores and how this is wearing and all of those details. So I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> yeah!
It's my most favorite time of the day. It's the twilight hour and my powder, I was gonna say my powdery face. My face makeup still looks pretty gosh darn good. I mean, my face is dry right now, so dry. But I think, I think it's doing pretty good. Um, I still like the RCMA side better. Wait, which side do you like better? What are you talking about? I use two different powders. Do you like this side? Or this side? Pick the right side. Pick the right side, James. Okay. This is what I think. I huh. think from a distance, this side looks better. Mm -hmm. But when I get about right here, like conversation, this looks much better. Great. Confusing us all. So. I like this one better. No, you don't. I do. Really yeah. shoot. Yeah, up close this is a little more powdery. Okay, I'll check in again in a little bit. All right, bye. So immediately what I have to say to you guys is that my makeup, everything else, like my bronzer, blush, highlight, everything went on really super smooth. But I don't know if that's just normal or if I was like hyping myself into liking this more than I should because of the price tag. So I'm not 100% but it has held my makeup in place really nicely. I have to say that. Somehow it is 10 o'clock at night and I realized it is time to do a final check-in. I have been wearing this powder all day long and I actually didn't need to touch up at all, which was so fantastic. I really do like how this wore on my face. So a few things I wanna go over, if I had to choose between the pressed powder and the loose powder, I would absolutely go with the pressed. I think that it did a really excellent job keeping my foundation from moving around, keeping any shine at bay, but I didn't look cakey or chalky or anything like that. It is a beautiful powder, so I am not saying anything negative about it whatsoever. I probably shouldn't have bought the limited edition version. I don't know that that really was worth it. I kind of feel like, what was I thinking? Um, I don't even know what I was thinking. Um, so I would probably get the regular $105 compact. That is still a lot of money. I do want to say if you had one item to splurge on in your whole makeup collection, powder should not be it definitely spend your money on skincare and foundation first. If you happen to have the extra cash and you want to try something like this, you won't be disappointed. It is beautiful. It does a great job. And I feel initially, you know, using it just once that I liked my makeup today. Um, a little bit more so than usual because I didn't have to touch up and it was just like nice. But the under eye situation with the loose powder, I feel like that container, I do not like it all. Powder flies everywhere. The sifter is kind of weird and it has a very strong scent to it which I know my Cody Airspun has a very strong scent to it as well, but that's like $5. This one's $105, so I'm more forgiving of the $5 one. The $105 one, I just feel like I'm putting perfume everywhere. I personally preferred the way the RCMA powder looked. James liked the more expensive one, but I like the RCMA one. P.S. The reason that I'm sitting down right now kind of a mess is because I was just eating jalapeno chips, which are a favorite snack of mine in the entire world. And I decided to be that girl that like started rubbing my eyes. And then all of a sudden I was like, my eye is spicy. Like what's going on? And I started like rubbing everywhere. And I feel like that gave me the true test of how this powder was working. And it survived me being like, oh my God. Let me know in the comments what other ridiculously expensive item I can put to the test for you guys. I am loving trying all this stuff out. It's kind of crazy, but I'm having fun with it for right now. So we're just going to continue. And thank you so much for hanging out, you guys. I hope you're having a good one, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.